Now you can control Blender with external devices, including this. Fantastic Saturday is starting right now, people, and all you gotta do is set up your workspace with your external devices such as this joypad controller or any USB wirelessly controller so that you can direct your workspace inside Blender for sculpting or painting, and I want to show you how you can do this, all right? So the first thing we want to do is to acquire one a wireless controller, like a Bluetooth controller, with a USB dongle. So that way we can connect it to our machines and it will emit a blue signal. And inside your computer, you should check out that your Bluetooth devices are activated. And if they are, you can then configure to switch on here on settings, on devices, and then you can switch on the search for, or in this case, to add additional devices. So you click here, Bluetooth, it's gonna start searching around. So what you need to do is to take your wireless controller, in this case, this is a VR set um, controller. So this thing has a switch right here on the side. I'm going to switch it on. And after that, I'm going to press power. Immediately, Windows will detect the Bluetooth device. So you can click there and check out the feedback that the machine is going to give you, which is the name. So if we see it listed here, then it's, a, it's time to move to the second step, which is to download joy to key you're gonna type on google joy to key and then come to the download sections scroll down the page there are different options but i would recommend to download the zip file so once you download that okay you can save it on your on your hard drive open up your folder unpack it and then you're going to be finding this option to execute so we're going to create a new one new profile, in my case, I'm going to name it uh, such grease pencil with Blender. In this case, I'm going to switch this device on again and immediately when I push the buttons, I'm going to see immediate feedback on joy to key That's what this is for, okay? So in case that switch off, switch it on again so your Bluetooth device is sending signals. Next step. Ignite Blender. Just in case, Blender 282A official release is coming to Steam. So be a little bit patient if you haven't got the upgrade just yet. Okay, so let's launch it. And now we're inside Blender. I'm going to select the 2D workspace because I want to show you how to change the brush size, the brush intensity, and also the right click options. And of course, we have to switch our device on. So if everything is ready, let's try this. So the first thing you wanna do is to test the buttons. Just press all the buttons on your uh, wireless control, your Bluetooth controller, and then you should see the signal back into Joy2 Key. So when you signal and when you see the feedback, then you can configure the uh, special keys, which in this case are going to be for us to use with the brush settings for hardness, for the size, and other things. So let's let's do this. You come here, down here where it says Edit Button Assignment. And the next thing you're going to do is right click over here and you're going to get a special access for special keys, either for your mouse or your keyboard, all right? So you have different options there. But the usual way to do this is just by selecting the keyboard emulation and then just directly pressing the key that you're interested in. In our case, we know that if we press shift plus the letter F right here, we're going to get shift F here on keyboard. You have different options to create multiple combinations. And now we're going to write down here on the comments shift F. And of course, this is just to decide the hardness of the brush. So that's going to be my comment. I'm going to click OK. And with that, I can see right here, Shift F now will be replaced with button number three. So let's test that. If I press here, surely enough, I get my keyboard call 
by using my Bluetooth device. Okay, so the Bluetooth device can be held anywhere you want. And right now I'm going to test a second button because once I accept that, I need to change that and accept with enter, right? So that's what we're going to configure on our buttons. So press the first one and then the second one enter. Now let's configure the third one. And the third one, I want to be the size of the brush. Okay, before that, don't forget to write the comment on the enter key, press OK, all right? So we have that. And now you can press pause to read all of this description because I want this video to be quick. All right, so let's move on to the next button. So now that we know that, I um, got this in 2015 with a VR case and this controller is very good actually I'm going to be using it downwards alright so in this way that's how I'm going to be using it so the next thing I want to know is how to configure the button for the size of the brush okay so I'm going to put that on the comments I'm going to press F right here in the first space and now I get the size of the brush and if you know the, the button previously configured was enter and this one right here is going to be configured for the right click. So how do you do that when you go outside the keyboard and into the mouse? So I'm pressing the button right here to identify it and then I'm going to write here, I'm going to write right here what this is going to do. This is the right mouse click, all right? Very easy. This is the context menu, you all know that. So you come here, right click your mouse and then you scroll down where it says right click, right there. Then you press OK. Now you have your right click selected with that control. Now let's test it. OK, so you can see right here I'm pushing it and then I get this. But to get to go outside or to accept the, the parameters that we have selected, we need to choose the escape key. So I'm going to configure that escape key onto the downwards, which is going to be the left on the controller. And this is escape button. So I'm going to press there and then I'm going to press escape directly on my keyboard. And that is going to be picked up by joy to key All right, and then you press OK. So from there on, every time I go with the POV on the left, I'm going to get escape, escape, escape again. You see that? <laughs> this is amazing. This is what you want to configure if you want to uh, move on with other tools inside Blender, like brush hardness. Okay, enter, brush size, enter, right mouse click, right mouse click again, and now escape, escape again. Look at that, isn't this amazing? Now you can configure your own tools however you would like. All right, we are all waiting for the Grease Pencil refactoring, but while you do that, I'm going to give you additional ideas configuring joypads such as this one, for example. I was painting with joy to key using the texture paint mode, but configuring the buttons of this joypad to drive my viewport. Look at that. I can even call further commands just like I would with the regular keyboard. But the nice thing about this is that you have more options and access like a gamepad has. Like if I go right on the thumb, thumb stick, I think it's called, you can also configure the additional buttons that you have on the back of this controller you remember you have six different options right so you can configure six different keys all right so you can even configure shortcuts that you can call from the quick menu so that's that's just uh, pure glory pure amazing features to work with sculpting or either texture painting all right so i got my vijika headset way back ago but now if you are interested in getting one, you can follow the links down in the description. And the wireless Bluetooth controller is almost like this one. So when you buy from there, you can get the affiliate link and you can support me. So what about the power glove? Well, it happens so that you can buy the Nest to USB adapter on Amazon if you want to try that. 
um, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos that do make that thing work with the USB connection. So probably you can connect it to Joy to Key. All right, so that's all for now. And don't forget that if you buy from the affiliate link, you're not getting charged more. You're getting just charge the price that you are paying as any other regular customer except that a little part of that goes to support this channel so i thank you very much for all of your support also don't forget to follow me on patreon to get the updates on the virtual character we're creating for your phone thank you very much